Good morning, my beautiful Mystic Tribe. This is your daily reading for today, August 20th, 2021. Hope that everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. This is a general read. This could be love life or general life. And timing is fluid. Usually happens within a week if it's not on this day. And this may or may not be your story. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Or you may think it doesn't resonate. But then something hits you and you think, oh, wow, Mystic Jen said this a few days ago. So just keep that in mind as well. Roles can be vice versa. If you would like a private reading, please do see the description box below. Along with in that description box is a link to my vlog channel. And I am hoping that tomorrow night... Or wait a second, today is Friday, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I may try to go live tonight at 8.30 p.m. We will see. Um, kind of watch my community page for an announcement. So, with all that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's dive right in. Okay, my spirit guides are saying the cards are ready. We have the Eight of Pentacles beautiful or working hard on something two of swords so what i feel like this the energy of the day is dealing with blocking out and protecting something that we are working on whether this is a project or if this is a relationship but we're definitely in protection mode <clears throat> for some of us this could be a conflict within a workplace that may be coming to an understanding or coming to a truth or truce I mean <clears throat> let's see where this is going Prince of Staffs okay I feel like that there is some kind of positive news or communication that we may have been sitting on the fence waiting on you know, this could be related to our finances. This could be related to our um, personal life as well. Something that we were thinking about investing in, potentially, that we were sitting on the fence, not making a decision about if we wanted to invest in this or not, if we really wanted to put the work in. But I feel that we are receiving some kind of positive news, something that is going to energize us, something that is going to get our ass in gear. That is going to say, okay, yes, we can come off that fence. This is the news that we have been waiting on. And this is what was needed, information coming forth for us to make it a positive, educated decision on a situation. Five of Cups. So somebody may have been communicating that they may have been regretful or remorseful for their actions. And in personal love life, this could have been a situation that there may have been a halt because of a conflict that we put this connection on hold. We stopped investing in it, but then somebody comes forth with an apology about whether it's about their behavior or <clears throat> words that are said, it's like somebody being remorseful for their actions. And yes, that can be relate to the work environment or business environment, or it could be friends or family. You know, somebody may have even ghosted us or ghosted, you know, may have ghosted somebody or, you know, just may have been very cold. There may have been some words with the two of swords. There could be, I definitely feel conflict here. Um, a battle of wits between two people, arguments. <clears throat> but somebody is coming to the realizing, admitting, admitting that they were wrong. Princess of Cups. More princess, you know, so somebody's definitely moving towards with an apology and with the Princess of Cups, I feel like that this was a lot of self-reflection. Somebody realizes 
that they made a mistake, that they were in the wrong. And this is a heartfelt apology. Somebody here in this situation, like I said, roles can be vice versa. But somebody here really was reflecting on the situation. They're looking at what was said, what was done, their own part in it. And they are actually, they, after some self-reflection, they are very remorseful and they are true. I feel like this is truly coming from the heart. So I do feel like a heartfelt apology is coming forth. And somebody wants to put the spilled cups behind, water under the bridge. Somebody wants to move on because there's still something there to be salvaged out of this connection. Three, Ten of Pentacles. This could be a family member. The Ten of Pentacles represents our wealth but also our stability and family. And when I say family, it's not just in within your immediate household. Ten of Pentacles to me is like heritage. It is the extended family, siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles, parents, children, okay? It's more than just within the home. The Ten of Cups to me is more of your environment, your home environment. Ten of Pentacles, I feel like, is more heritage. It's like the family as a whole. So I feel like that there is some good news, or there is definitely apologies, peace offerings coming within a family situation. And this can also be a family business. You know, you may have been working with somebody, or this could be a family business if there was some discord in, but there is peace being made. I feel like that there is peace coming to the situation. Under the deck, we have the world card. The world card is a successful completion. It is representing the end of a cycle, closing out a door. And, and the world is represented by Gaia, the mother of all mothers. Okay? And again, I'm getting the sense of somebody wants to put this behind. Somebody wants to move forward. Somebody wants to make peace. Okay, peace and harmony. I do not feel as much that this is a romantic relationship. I feel like this is more deeper family oriented. But regardless, I will draw some romance angels cards because everybody wants to know what's going on with their romance, their love life. So let's take a quick look at love life. Let's move this pile over here. In fact, I'm just going to take this bottom card and put it right here. Oh. Contemplation. Hermit was right underneath that with the three of cups. So somebody's thinking about celebrating. Somebody wants that friendship back. Somebody wants that companionship, that relationship back. So yeah, somebody's definitely deep in thought about this connection. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. <clears throat> okay. This could be a totally separate read. That's kind of what I'm picking up on. Retreat. Okay. So there might have been some troubles and turmoils. This could be related to this. That there's been a split, a retreating, stepping back, engagement, higher level of commitment. Um, that's not the marriage card, but it might have been an engagement or living together or a very committed relationship here that somebody took a break from, somebody took a step back because there were a lot of red flags, a lot of problems that were occurring in this connection. And somebody's coming back in with an apology, maybe in a playful manner, trying to break the ice, trying to have some kind of breakthrough here. Somebody's trying to lighten, you know, kind of lighten the air. 
lighten the atmosphere. Because I'm hearing miscommunications. Authority. The emperor could be dealing with an Aries. So this is somebody is taking charge in this situation. This could be a father figure even. Obstacles and challenges. You know, this person, this um, um, like patriarch or head of the household or head of the family. Or some could be a father figure. Might have been walking along and came across some obstacles. Or there could have been... I'm hearing bridging the gap. Maybe even bridging the gap with a father figure. Hope. Okay, that's what this is. Bridging the gap with somebody in a place of authority. Whether this is a boss or this is a father figure of some sort. But it's somebody who has some sense of authority in the family situation or in the job, in the business. This could even be you trying to bridge the gap and bring hope back to the family. Take this as it resonates. But there is this sense of hope, the sense of healing that is occurring to eliminate the challenges, to overcome the challenges and obstacles and repair that bridge. There, It's like the bridge was broken, but it's only a small gap. The bridge is not completely gone. So, like, kind of re mending the bridge. Mending things. And that's what I feel this reading is about. Okay, we are going to get a message from the mermaids and dolphins here. See what the mermaids and dolphins have to say. And my cards are getting all mixed up, all messed up, all out of order. Not out of order, but just not in alignment. They're all crooked now. Aesthetics, Jen, aesthetics. There's more to a reading, Jen, than, than aesthetics, right? Even though I like them to look pretty and organized. Okay. Mermaids and dolphins, what message do you have for my mystic tribe, please? Healing heart, how appropriate, perfect message for the vibe of this reading. It's a, you, you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So you could be dealing with a healer or you could be the one that is the key to bridging this gap okay you could be the one going forth with an apology but even if you were in the right just to try to make amends and it could also be somebody else coming forth somebody else wanting to heal trying to be the healer trying to bring the family or bring the colleagues or friends back together <clears throat> beautiful energy is a healing healing type of energy for today. But that's what I have for you, my friends. I do thank you for tuning in. Please do make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment. I do love you all. And have a blessed day. Blessed be.